The Halo board at the Intuit Dome in Los Angeles is a groundbreaking new scoreboard that features almost an acre's worth of LED. And the manufacturer behind this installation is a name familiar to sports fans, Dactronics. Recently, we spoke with Luke Tingle to learn more. The first conversations go back all the way to 2019, so over five years ago. The initial vision of, of the um, ownership group, you know, Steve Ballmer and, and all the Clippers, was building a true basketball arena. He wanted it to be a house of hoops, and, and the goal was home court advantage. I think that's where the Halo came in to play was, you know, how do you interact and engage with the fans so they want to be in their seats and want to be there um, and watch the game and give them what they want to see. What were some of the biggest challenges that you all tried to address at the outset of the project um, and then as you made your way through, all the way through to completion? The scale of the project, we had to think differently of the Halo, especially being an acre of scoreboard, right? All while they're trying to, you know, build seats, pour concrete, and, and build everything else out and how we coexisted in the bowl, especially underneath the Halo. It was definitely a challenge and took a lot of coordination, but it was a team effort and, from my opinion, went off without a hitch. There have been other projects like this in football arenas and things, but what makes this one unique? So typically in an NBA arena, we have what was called a center hung. Not, not everyone's doing a halo. And the center hung sits above center court and it typically weighs between 50 and 80,000 pounds. And it's on a hoist system that raises it and lowers it for basketball games and concerts. And at Intuit Dome, we have these uh, hoisted ends that are actually, uh, they raise. And the why is, you know, they, they wanted, uh, uh, sight lines for concerts. So the people that sit on the ends of the arena, so for them to be able to see the entire stage during concerts was important to, to the Clippers and the architects. And the most complicated part of that is how do you make it look seamless? We didn't want it to look like the sidelines were a separate display from these hoisted ends. So we had to, uh, we had to develop a, and work on the smallest gap possible. We did that with a hoist system, but also a guide track system. That I found really interesting. It's similar to what they use on stadiums with retractable roofs. It's uh, definitely probably the biggest engineering feat on the project. Where is maybe all this leading? What's next for LED boards in stadiums or in other applications as well? Where do you think this is headed? The Halo is an acre of scoreboard of 4K resolution. You said that five years ago, that was unheard of, right? And you know, I think the size allows for the Clippers to show, you know, what other stadiums maybe can only show one at a time. They can show multiple things at once if they want to, right? Like a lot of a lot of venues that have maybe a center hum either show live video or stats in a smaller window and bigger stats if they interrupt live video and replays if they interrupt and, and they're interrupting their, their main canvas um, where the Clippers can do all that at once if they choose to. It's not just about the scoreboard either. I think it's it's about the experience. It all ties back to the halos, just the canvas to display that message, to interact. But then you start tying in all these other bits and pieces of technology. I think that's going to be something that future stadium Marines look at of the full experience. I'm excited to see a Clippers uh, game in action and, and win their first championship in that building real soon. And I would just say go Clips. <laughs>